Hello, my name is Ronald from MajorRound.com, and today's video is an answer to a Reddit question. And the question was, can you charge a one-time fee uh, for a user who wants to submit a post, and also allow unlimited posts for a person who subscribes to, a, say, a monthly plan? So this video is going to show you how to do just that with Gravity Forms and Pay Merchants Pro. So let's do a quick brainstorm of what's going to be required for user submitted posts. So the first thing we're going to need is a form plugin or something you could use for front-end submissions. And we have three user states. One of them is not logged in, and that's going to be charged, they're going to be charged $3.99 per post. And then we have logged in, and they're not subscribers, so they're also going to be charged $3.99 per post. And then finally, we have a subscription, and those are going to be $9.99 a month. So let's go over some of the plugins we're going to need. We're going to need Gravity Forms, because that's, in my opinion, the best form plugin for WordPress. Uh, we're going to use a Gravity Forms user registration add-on, so the user can register and become a person on the site, so to speak. And then you need a Stripe add-on for accepting payments, Advanced Post add-on, which will create the post in the back end, and then finally, Pay Merchants Pro, which we're going to use for subscriptions. So here's our blank WordPress install. I don't have any plugins installed. I have the default themes. So we're just going to be starting from scratch here. So the first thing you want to do is download a copy of Gravity Forms, which you can find in your account area on gravityforms.com. And so I've already downloaded it. So I'm going to go to plugins, excuse me, add new. And I'm going to go ahead and install Gravity Forms. Okay, I'm going to activate plugin. And then I'm going to go to settings. And it says uh, paste in your license key. I've already done that. So um, don't need to worry about that anymore. So I'm going to go to add ons. And I'm going to search for user registration. I want to install that. Then I'm going to search for the Stripe add-on, and it's right there. OK, cool. And then finally, I want to add the post add-on, so the advanced post creation add-on. And that is right here. So. And also, if you have trouble accessing these downloads from within Gravity Forms, um, you can find all your add-ons in your account section. So, all right, let's get started. All right, so I have my plugins activated, and now I'm going to create a new form. And bear with me, this might take a little bit. I'm going to call this a uh, user post submission. And then I'm going to say uh, non-subscriber. So I just kind of know where it is, that it's a nice subscriber form. So let's go ahead and add some fields. For instance, let's grab a name. Uh, let's grab a username. And then we want a password. We're also going to want an email address. And then finally, we need some post fields. So we're going to add a title and then body, excerpt, and then possibly a post image. And let's go ahead and add a category in here too. So, so far we got a, a name, we're gonna make that required, email required, uh, username, we definitely wanna have require that, password, required, and I'm going to go ahead and enable password strings on that one. Uh, we definitely want to make post title required, post body should be required as well. Post excerpt we could leave as optional, post category, I think we could leave as optional in the post image, I think we can uh, leave as optional, but you can see here if somebody does uh, create a post image, you know, we could click on set as featured image. So that should be it. So now we need to add some pricing fields and a credit card form to this uh, form here. 
So let's go ahead and set up Stripe so we can actually accept payments. And I'm going to be using it in test mode so I can show you an example of it being used. But I'm going to go ahead and connect to Stripe. And conveniently, I'm already logged in, so I'm just going to connect. And then it's going to send me back to Gravity Forms, and you'll have to re-log in part of my weak password. So finally, uh, you're going to go to webhooks, and the way I get there is I'm in test mode. Then I go to developers, and then I go to webhooks. And in the Gravity Forms settings, it says, are webhooks enabled, view instructions, and then you can copy the URL that you need, and then add an endpoint. So the endpoint URL is going to be that. I'm just going to give it a basic description. It says select events you want to listen to. I usually just select all events. And then you click add events, and then you scroll all the way down and click add endpoint. So for now, uh, the webhooks are enabled. So I have enabled the Gravity Forms webhook URL. And then I'm going to go into that webhook that I'm already in and signing secret, I'm going to click reveal. And then I'm going to copy that and I'm going to put in test signing secret. And then I want to strike credit card fields. So let's go ahead and save the settings there. And it seems like everything is all set up. So let's head back to our form. And I'm going to add some pricing fields at the very, very bottom. So here's the pricing fields. And you can see that it has a product and option, etc. So I'm going to go ahead and toss the product in there. And the product name would be uh, user submission. And I'm going to make the fill type hidden because I don't want the user to be able to select anything. And right over here is the price. So I'm going to say $3.99. So that should be all set. And I'm going to go ahead and add a total field. And that total field will reflect the product name. And then I'm going to finally add a field, a Stripe credit card. So please check if you have activated a Stripe feed for your form. I will show you that in a second. So I have saved my form. I have my details below. It still says I have to set up a Stripe feed. I'll worry about that later. For now, we need to handle the case of if a user is logged in, we don't want them to see the username and password. And we also don't want them to be re-registered, for example. So what I'm going to do is create a hidden field. And I'm going to populate that with a merge tag. This is courtesy of GravityWiz. And this is a built-in merge tag to Gravity Forms, but GravityWiz has created a very nice tutorial on how to do this. So I have my hidden field. I'm going to call it uh, user submission logged and status. All right. And then I'm going to put a default value. This is going to be the merge tag. And then finally, I can go to the username. I can enable some conditional logic here. And if user submission is blank, which the logged in status is blank, meaning the person isn't logged in, show the username. So that's OK there. And then password, I'm going to do the same thing. If user submission is blank, show a password field. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And now we can test it out. Uh, I'm logged in currently, so I'm just going to go to preview. And you can see that the user submission form is blank. And if I add this to a poster page, which I'll show you later, it's going to show the username and password as well. So now let's set up a user registration feed. So I have my form saved. I have all my fields below. It still says I need to activate a Stripe feed. I'll worry about that in a bit. Um, but for now, we want to create a user account when somebody submits this form. So let's hover over settings when you're in the form editor, and you'll see user registration. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a feed. And a feed is just an action that runs when a form is submitted. 
So I'm going to go ahead and create a user registration feed and I want to create a user. And you'll see under user settings, most of these form fields are already mapped. For example, I have a username field in there and that's mapped automatically. Uh, nickname is not mapped. So I'm just going to say, I'm going to say it first name and then display name could be, you know, first name, last name and email address and password is that. And now here's where it can get a little tricky. You want to select a role like subscriber would probably be the safest one um, because if they're a contributor, they can create posts in the back end and then you can't charge for them. Uh, but likewise, if you select subscriber and you try to set a post, post author, uh, you can't unless you're a contributor. So it's up to you, but I would just leave this as subscriber because we don't want them to log into the back end. And then we want to send a new user an email about their account. We can say by form notification, uh, set user as post author, and then enable user activation. Uh, that's if you would like to verify that the user is created. Let's go ahead and turn that off. And let's enable the condition that they are not logged in. So we save that setting. And so when the user fills out the form, we can expect them, if they're not logged in, we'll create a brand new user account for them. So now let's go to the post creation feed, which is just right here. And if you're lost, for example, you can go back to forms, you can hover over settings and see post creation. If you're in the form editor, you can hover over settings and go to post creation as well. And that is true for every feed you create. So let's go ahead and create one. And I'm gonna call this, uh, I would say user submitted post. So I'm gonna say it's gonna be a type of post. It's gonna be public. Uh, let's go ahead and set a draft because you probably wanna approve these posts before they go live. Um, format's kind of outdated. We don't need that anymore. Uh, entry date. And then the author would be the logged in user. And if you want to allow comments or trackbacks on this post, you can enable those here. And so here's where we get to the meat of the, the content is the post content. And you'll see these merge tags on the right and you can select pretty much anything. And in this particular case, a post title is being mapped over. So we're going to do that. And then likewise for post body it has merge tags as well. And you can add stuff below like, you know, submitted, by author and then you can say let me see if I can find their nickname here oh uh, we get to say first and last and then put a space in there and then you can map custom fields and that likewise has a lot of values you can select um, you can say I want the category to be uncategorized or if I want to add a new category I can do that too so I'm just going to call that general and then I don't need tags. And then as far as enabling conditions, we want it to be submitted for logged in and non logged in view viewers, users, I'm sorry. So we're going to leave the enable condition blank. here. So let's go ahead and save that setting. And now finally, we're going to set up our Stripe feed. So now we're going to set up our Stripe feed. So let's go to settings and Stripe. And we don't have a feed yet, so let's go ahead and create one. And I'm just gonna call this one user submission, uh, non-subscriber, so I can uh, know what's going on here. And the transaction type will be products and services. And the reason I'm not using subscription here is because you kind of want a full-fledged solution when it comes to subscriptions, and that's why I recommend a membership plugin in this video. So the transaction type is product and services. It's going to pull from the form total. Um, you have a credit card fill settings. Uh, they aren't mapped or anything like that. So, and if you have a Medicaid you want to send to uh, Stripe, you can do that here. A Stripe receipt. I can go ahead and send an email. And if I want to enable condition, I don't. So let's go ahead and save those settings. So now when I go back to the form editor, uh, you can see it has a nice nifty little credit card field. 
and I can preview that and I'm not or I am logged in so it's not going to show my username and password and then it has a fill for a credit card it gives me like total so I think I'm set as far as this goes all we need to do is do some user tests so now we're ready to add the form to a page or a post and test it out so let's go ahead and go to pages I'm gonna click add new here and I'm just gonna call this uh, submission and then I'm gonna say please if I could type enter <laughs> your post below and I'm using the block editor so I'm gonna choose gravity forms I'm gonna select the form that I like I'm not gonna show the form title or description and let's go ahead and publish that so now I'm going to open this in the incognito window so I can fill the form out as a non uh, user. So I'm just going to type in my first last name, my favorite spam email address, and I'm going to call this username Ronald Harika. I'm going to put in a really, really bad password. Um, this is my local install, so I'm allowed to do that. Post title, I'm going to say uh, cats are awesome. And then post body, I'm going to likewise say cats are really awesome. And then for the post excerpt, I'll leave that. Well, I can just go ahead and put it in there. And then uh, post categories, I'm categorized. Um, I can choose a file for a featured image. And then finally, I got to put in my credit card details. And if you're familiar with Stripe, you know that this is the main uh, credit card thing. And I'm going to do uh, Ronald Harika. Oh yeah, and I gotta fill that in too. So I'm just gonna put that into the future and I can just put in one, two, three for the CVC code and then I'll pick on the eight, nine, one, I'll pick on that zip code right there. I think that's Alaska, but I'm not sure. So I'm gonna submit that field. And just waiting. So thank you for contacting us. We'll be in, short, uh, in touch with you shortly. You can, of course, customize this to your heart's extent. Um, so let's go see what happens in the back end. So what I'm expecting here is a new user created. So there's uh, Ronald Harika, and I'm going to edit that so you can see oh, what happened. My role subscriber, first last name Harika and likewise my email address and then we're going to see what happens under post so we have cats are awesome draft uh, so we can edit that and it's showing the classic editor you can easily uh, convert that to blocks so cats are really awesome Rama harika and then you can see the post uh, wait for it, categories. Uh, this one's under general, so it created a general category, I suppose. And no featured image, and there should be an excerpt. Unfortunately, that didn't pass over. I'm not sure why, um, but that's okay. And so when we're ready, we could just publish it and then view the post. And then finally, we have a user submitted post on the front end that a person had to pay for. So now let's see what happens when the user is logged in. In the last section, I created a new user. So let's see what happens when we log in. My username is Brahma Harika and my weak password, log in. And then finally, I'm taken back to my profile. Um, if I visit the site, I don't think I have any uh, posts or pages set up here. So I'm just gonna go manually to slash submission. Okay, so you can see there is no username and password here, and I'm just going to type in my information. And then the post title would be whatever I want. Post body. Cats are amazing. And then let's see if the post text is going to work this time. Yes to cats. And then uh, I could leave the post category alone, and then I have to enter my credit card details. Part of my bad typing uh, into the future. Ugh. And that's my actual zip code. So 
Tell me hack me, please. Uh, card holder name. Oh, here we go. Oh, I have caps on. My bad. So just wait for it. And wait for it. All right. So I got my confirmation. So I'm going to go back to my admin. And I'm going to see if the post was indeed submitted. Say so whatever I want. Author is set. Categories are set. Um, I can now publish this. Um, the excerpt still didn't pour over. I'm not sure why that didn't, but uh, whatever. So you got the gist of it here. So we just tested logged in users and non logged in users on Gravity Forms, but we didn't cover subscriptions. So I'm going to cover that in the next section. So we're now ready for subscription uh, users. We've covered non-logged in users. We covered logged in users. We did some user registrations. We set up Stripe. We did post creation. Uh, so now we need to be able to accept subscriber content and charge them $9.99 a month. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of my theme here and do something that's more geared towards subscribers. So. I'm going to add in a scene called Member Light, which is made by the Pay Memberships Pro Team. And it is geared towards subscriptions and memberships, and also has some good styles for Gravity Forms. So I'm going to go ahead and activate that. And I'll kind of show you what it looks like on the front end. So it's really simple, but you know, it has a, uh, good styles. So, and I'm also going to install a plugin called Pay Memberships Pro, which is free. Okay, I'm going to install that now. And I'm going to walk you briefly through the installation process. It's taking its time. All right, I'm going to activate that. Alrighty, so what we can do now is we can create a membership level and generate membership pages. Those are the, the two things we want to configure at first. So let's create a membership level first. And I'm going to call this uh, subscriber. And the description will be uh, users that uh, can submit unlimited posts. And then, of course, you can configure all of this, and the initial payment is going to be $9.99. And then it says, check if this level has a recurring subscription payment. So I'm going to say, okay, it's going to be uh, $9.99 every one month. So that should be set. And then the billing cycle limit, I'm going to leave that blank for indefinite. Uh, we don't need a trial. Um, and we want to keep registration open. I'll show you why in a minute. And then check this to set when membership gets fired. Doesn't matter. And then content settings. We're not protecting any content right now. So let's go ahead and save that level. All right. So now we're going to go to pages. And it's going to say generate pages for me. All right. Let's do that. So it created all those pages. And created you know, a custom login page, a profile page, levels, all that stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and save settings. And then let's go ahead and uh, view one of the membership pages um, in incognito, for example. So membership levels is going to be kind of like your main uh, hub or main start page. So let's see that. And so subscriber is $9.99 per month. So the next step we need to do is set up a payment gateway. So I'm going to go ahead and go to dashboard. And then it should be a configure payment settings right here. And then a payment gateway, I just want to do Stripe. Um, I want to do testing. And then this one is going to make me connect to Stripe also. So let's go ahead and do that. Connect. And then I'm going to go back to Paymerfits Pro. And then it's going to ask for a webhook. So we're going to go ahead and do that. No webhooks have been received. So 
Uh, let's go back to Stripe and add in a new webhook. And that endpoint URL, and I'm gonna say paid memberships pro webhook. And then add the endpoint. Oh, I forgot to select all the events that I need. Add events and then add endpoint. So there we go. We'll get our signing secret. And it says uh, no webhooks have been received. Let's go ahead and refresh this page. Well, it says no webhooks have been received, but that's okay. Um, I know they're, they're set. And let's see, show billing address fields, enable payment request button, no US dollars. Um, you could take all these uh, cool payment gateways. So let's do Visa and MasterCard. And then uh, force SSL, you don't need to do that since I'm on localhost, but if you're on a live site, you probably want to do that. So we do save settings. And so our webhook is, or uh, I'm sorry, our Stripe payment gateway is now connected. So now we're all set to check out as a subscriber if you're a, a non-logged in user. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my membership levels page and I'm gonna select subscriber for $9.99 a month. And it's gonna say, okay, the price for the membership is $9.99 a month. So I'm gonna create another username. I'm gonna call this Ronald Harika2 and I'm gonna use a crappy password and I'm gonna use an email alias because I'm running out of email addresses. <laughs> uh, payment information, excuse me. Um, so I'm gonna put in the standard Stripe keys. Uh, this is the testing. And don't try to hack my credit card. That one doesn't exist anymore. All right, so submit and check out. This always takes the longest. Alrighty, so I am now a subscriber. I can view my membership account and update my billing, cancel, whatever. And finally, I am ready to go uh, create a form submission with my subscription. So I am now a logged in user with a subscriber profile paying $9.99 per month. I should expect that I can uh, create unlimited posts. So let's go ahead and go back to submission. And you'll see that I'm still going to be charged $3.99 one time fee. So let's go ahead and change that. So I'm going to go back into WordPress. I'm going to go to forms and I'm going to create a subscriber only form. So what I'm gonna do, I don't wanna create the will again, so I'm gonna duplicate this post or duplicate this form and I'm gonna edit it. Um, sorry, I wanna to go to form settings first. Uh, change the name to subscriber. And then I'm going to go uh, save those settings. And then I'm gonna get rid of the form uh, field that we don't need. Uh, for example, I don't need this status anymore. I'm going to assume the user is logged in. I don't need the username anymore. I don't need the password. But I still need the post title, body excerpt, category. Um, I do not need the product name anymore. I do not need the total. And likewise, I do not need the credit card field anymore. So I'm going to save that form. And now I'm going to go back to the page that I created. And this is kind of where the membership aspect comes in. And I'm going to insert a block. So I'm going to add a require membership block. This is from Payment Memberships Pro. And I'm going to select non-members. And then I'm going to put our existing form into this block. So now you can see the hierarchy here, require membership block, it's gravity forms. And then finally, I can duplicate this block and say for subscribers, they're gonna get a subscriber form instead. So let's go ahead and update that. And let's go ahead and view the page. So please enter your post below. I am not a member. 
So my fee is going to be $3.99 per post. So let's go ahead and go to where I am a member. And there are no pricing fields, right? And if I log out and go back to the same form page, uh, you will see that I will be charged $3.99 fee. Now here's a, an added bonus here. Um, if I, and I think it's called a login, maybe not. I might have to finagle a little bit. There we go. All right. So I created a user before called Ronald Harika, and this person is a logged in user, but not a subscriber. Uh, so now if I go to membership levels, you'll see that I have an upsell to $9.99 per month. So I'm not a subscriber. I can recheck out. It has most of my information already. And I'm going to do this again. I can submit and check out. And then you're set. You can go back to submission. And now you can submit all you want for $9.99 a month. So that is it. That's the video. So um, there's a lot more you can do. Uh, for example, you can set up the form of notifications, admin notifications, thank you page, all that cool stuff. And Paymerships Pro, of course, is a very uh, versatile plugin. You can do pretty much anything with it. But in summary, uh, we created a uh, user registration page and we handled all the cases, not logged in, logged in, subscription. We even had a bonus here is, you know, upsell. And then plugins, we use Gravity Forms, so user registration add-on, Stripe add-on, advanced post add-on, and then finally Paymerships Pro. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much.